Hello, fire signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the general tarot reading for fire signs, and it's for August 2023. So that just means if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, then this is your general tarot reading for August, and you should just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. All right. So our central theme here is awareness. So you're going to have a growing awareness around something in the month of August. We have over here, spiritual union next to rejoice in celebration. So I feel like you have definitely connected into your heart chakra with all the green bordered cards here. But I also see that with that spiritual union and the rejoice and celebration, that there are other people in your life that kind of help you to align with your inner self and just help you to keep basically a happy heart, right? Because that's, we call in other people to help us celebrate things in our life. Maybe you're starting to realize the value of the relationship. Then over here, we have hope and material harvest. So as you're growing awareness around the relationships in your life is happening, it's also giving you more hope. So in that image, the man holds out his hands and there's light and there is a, a person in the middle of the light here. So I just feel like Connecting with others is helping you to grow awareness of not only like for hope for the future, like people making you feel good about where you're going or, you know, basically helping you in whatever way to gain hope. But this is also maybe even a growing awareness of your own spirit, your own inner self through these relations with others. And finally, we have on the end here, material harvest. And I feel like your growing awareness, your relationships, and just the fact that you do hold hope is going to lead to abundance and prosperity in the month of August. So let's get a little clarity on this reading for you guys. I'm going to give three shuffles to the Rider weight deck. So we can see how that clarifies. One more shuffle. Fix that. All right, fire signs. We have the Knight of Wands, which is reversed. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. We have the Sun and the King of Cups. All right. Okay, so here I do see with the Knight of Wands being reversed, it's like you're actually thinking things through when you're inspired to take action in the month of August. I feel like you're actually going to take time to think things through. So it's like when you get this spark of inspiration, sometimes you may just charge forth, but this being reversed, I feel like in the month of August, you're actually going to put more thought into it, but productive thinking into it, right? Because you also have the Nine of Swords reversed next to that Knight of Wands reversed. So that I feel like, you know, the thinking may have given, given you some type of feeling in the past, like anxiety or fear. But I feel like it's actually going to be beneficial for you in the month of August to take time and really think things through before charging forth, right? And then you have the Sun next to the King of Cups. With the sun next to the King of Cups, 
I see this as a very strong sign of a lot of happiness and abundance in the month of August. But it's going to be because you are growing an awareness around how your thoughts and your feelings are truly affecting your life and the outcomes of your life, right? Which is going to give you hope because it's going to lead to abundance the more that you can align with happiness in your emotional state and the more that you can also use your thoughts and inspirations in a very smart way. So I feel like the growing awareness is really about you, fire sign, understanding your part in the creation of your own happiness, your own material harvest, whatever that looks like for you. Material harvest doesn't have to be about getting all this money you wanted or anything like that. What it's about is understanding that what you have here in the world, your home, your career, your finances and all that is basically an extension of your own awareness, right? Okay, fire signs, I am going to shuffle the crystal angel cards to see what advice the crystal angels have for you for August 2023. Let's see what advice. Okay. We got the Azerite and it says deep emotional healing. See, King of Cups with the sun. And it says your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. That is fantastic. So the month of August is going to have a lot of growing awareness around how you're feeling about things. This is about emotional healing. It's connecting to your heart and following your joy. What makes you happy, fire sign? That's what you're going to find out in the month of August. All right, now I'm going to shuffle the wisdom of the Oracle deck three times, and then I will draw three cards for the fire signs final message for August 2023. All right, so let's give these a couple more shuffles. We have all that glitters. And look, there are two masks as well as this face looking down upon this pile of gold, right? So I feel like with the masks that we wear, that that's like who we are, you know, or who we, uh, the, the parts that we play in our lives, right? Again, I feel like you're going to see more clearly because I feel like all this light around here is also like the awareness and the hope. So you're going to see how your different characters in life affects your awareness, affects your material harvest. Next, we have to be fair. Now, in this card, on one side, she has a fortune cookie that says, nope, coming out of the fortune cookie. And on this side, there is an egg, which would represent a new beginning. So... I feel like you already know there's wisdom on her head, too, with this owl. So I do feel like there's going to be a new level of balance for you fire signs in the month of August. Again, it's like now that you know what you do not want, you're starting to also get a sense of what you do want with the no on one end and the egg on the other. So I feel like as you're growing in awareness, you're also going to find balance and wisdom that you can use in a very practical way in the month of August. It's a very balanced card. And then over here we have mending. I feel like with this growing awareness and even with, you know, relationships, there may be some mending that must take place. You are going to have the courage and the hope. You're going to have the deep emotional healing to go ahead and, uh, Mend all that needs mending in your life. That doesn't only have to be about relationships. It could be about your mending your emotional state. It could be about mending your material state. Basically, all the things we've been talking about. Um, In general, though, I do feel like this could have to do with some kind of relationship in your life, whether it's with another person or with your own inner 
yourself. So it's going to be a great month. Just look forward to the King of Cups and the Sun. Just know that the more that you share your happiness with the world, the more that you will reap the material harvest. And you'll find that spiritual union. Spiritual union is all about aligning with your heart to also align with your higher self. So this is a very spiritual month for you as well when it comes to how you feel and how that feeling is going to make your awareness change in some way. All right, fire signs. Don't forget to click that like button if you're still watching right now and share this video with all your fire sign friends out there. And of course, if you are a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.